Hi and welcome back. Well today's an exciting day we're going to do a build for the uh, camper. Now many people who go camping especially with caravans and camper trailers need to be able to charge batteries up especially when there's no hookup and I believe that you know camping without hookup in the middle of nowhere is probably some of the best camping you can do but today we use more energy uh, camping than we ever did in the past winter time like it is at the moment uh, shorter days you're not getting as much power so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be doing a new build of a 100 watt solar panel to put with my 200 watt solar panel so that when we do have sunlight we're getting as much out of it as we can and charging up the battery well for this build what we need first is of course our solar panel we're going to be using some of these electrical conduit piping so what I've got here is I've got four uh, three section conduit piping so we can join uh, the piping together we've got four corner pieces which we're going to put on the corners of course some conduiting we've got some washers some round headed nuts some bolts and the reason I like using these round headed nuts and bolts is that when you do pack the solar panel away you're not getting uh, anything caught on them and it's protecting uh, maybe some bedding or blankets mattresses that you might put on top of these while it's in storage of course you can't go camping without some zip ties so we're going to be using them we also have a permanent marker hacksaw screwdriver drill and a pair of pliers also what I've purchased as well to go with this flexible solar panel is an Anderson plug with connectors now I enjoy using uh, flexible panels they're very light easy to store you can move them around and the reason we're making this frame up today is so that we can move the solar panels around and follow the Sun now when I purchased my Jayco I didn't have a solar panel attached to the roof because you might want to park the camper underneath a tree in the shade and this way you can move your panels around and have them in constant Sun all day long if you've got your solar panels on the roof of course when the Sun's directly above you you're getting Sun on it there but I prefer to uh, move them around and keep them in the Sun as long as I possibly can so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get started I'm going to cut up the conduiting fit it to size now the way I like to make the size of the conduit by uh, attaching the corner pieces first and the center pieces measure them out mark them cut them up to size and that way we can fit them in nice and neat now I'm going to do that and shortly we'll show you how to put it together all right well now what I've done now is I've connected the corners and center conduit together now I like to do it this way so that I can now measure accurately the distances between the conduits so that we can fit uh, cut and fit these conduits uh, perfectly now what I've done is I've also marked top here so I know that that's going to be the top of the panel and the reason I do this is because I'm going to be attaching some legs to the top of the panel so when we do move it around we can sit it up and adjust the height and so on so first off what we're going to do is we're going to use our permanent marker and we're going to start measuring the sizes between each joint so what we're going to do is mark off here and what we're going to do is I'm going to go through and cut all these up and uh, once I've got them cut we'll start putting it together well, now we've got all of the conduit uh, cut up now just before I continue to make a frame for this size 100 watt solar panel is you need two lengths of two meter long conduit once cutting it all up that's all you have left so it's very efficient if you just use the two lengths for a 200 watt uh, solar panel you will need three two meter lengths now what we're going to do now is we're going to connect all these together uh, to make up the frame then connect the electrical plug and Anderson plug to the frame 
use a couple of zip ties to keep it all together and uh, let's get started. Now we've got the frame together. These are going to be your legs that you can adjust the uh, different angle uh, depending on where the sun is sitting. If we can just fold them in nice and neat. Now the next part is we're going to hook up our Anderson plug. So what we'll do now is we will grab our wires. And what I like to do is just bring them up, tuck them underneath the frame here. a zip tie on the ends this just protects the wires from pulling out of the solar panel when you're moving it around make sure we get it underneath okay we can snip those off We're now going to attach our Anderson plug. Positive and negative, but with this pre-made Anderson plug, you can't really go wrong. This is where your zip ties come in handy. And zip tie these nice and tight. Now with your Anderson plug, what I would do is I would use the pre-drilled holes here in the Anderson plug, put a couple of screws down into this piping here. Just be careful you don't go all the way through or you're going to hit your solar panel there. But I'm 150 kilometers away from home and forgot to bring the, the screws. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just use the trusty old zip tie again. And when I get home, I'll put some screws in that so it's nice and solid. So when you're plugging your lead in, it's not going to move around on you. Well, that's our build. You've now made a 100 watt solar panel, lightweight frame, stands so you can adjust the uh, angle so you get the perfect uh, sun hitting the front of the panel very light, easy to store, and works a treat. I do have the 200 watt solar panel already hooked up to the camper. So what I'm gonna do is in part two of this video, I'm gonna show you what happens when we hook up this second panel and how many amps uh, extra we're going to get from simply adding this other panel. To build this uh, here, you're looking at around about $100 purchasing the solar panel of eBay, buying all of the connections, uh, the 
piping from Bunnings and of course the Anderson plug already wired up uh, also from eBay. It's a fantastic project. I hope you've enjoyed watching me put it all together. I really love doing builds like this for campers and I hope it's given you some ideas on how to uh, hook up a second solar panel to your van, caravan, trailer. And uh, if you have any comments, please leave them below. If you have any ideas or way that I can improve on uh, this concept, also let me know. Thanks very much. I hope you've enjoyed watching this. I really enjoy presenting this type of video. And uh, see you on the at the great. Bleh. See you outdoors soon. Thank you.